Good morning, my name is Ben. Happy welcome to the Micro Solar Ring show. And normally I should cry now because I was already at the video for about 20 minutes. Um, and then I just realized I didn't click on, on record. And it's, I, I, I could really take a gun and shoot into my head because today in the morning I really have a nice repair for you, okay? <laughs> and it's... I, 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 I don't know why I, I just forgot to click on record and I talk the whole time and I do and then I wanted to to take a look how long the video already is and then I saw oh I, I don't I don't record at all okay so there was an iPhone XS mailed in here because the customer told me that um, the phone isn't working right I don't have um, audio function so people can't hear me I can't hear people Things like that, okay. I had a look at the housing for the XS and I saw, okay, this housing is really a bent housing. And then I realized it's time for a video and I started the video and I disassembled the phone and I separated the board and I saw that many pads are ripped. And then I started to, to recover the pads, the important pads, for, And I already jumped at them and then I saw the video wasn't working. Now I took off the jumpers again <laughs> and I will do it with you again because I'm really crazy. Okay, what I want to show you first is my table here. Here on the table, we have an iPhone XS housing, bent. We have an iPhone XS board, bent like you see, and it was like that. Okay, so I just separated the board and I did show you that in a lot of other videos, so I don't think it's a problem and I hadn't done this video today in the morning if I hadn't seen that the house, housing is bent and perhaps, perhaps um, we have to recover to, um, to rebuild some pads here. So I separated the board and what I saw after separating the board, I want to show you under the microscope cam. Here, what I saw was, okay, rip pads, okay, rip pads, here is the top layer, and I saw rip pads here too. So, I just clean that. So, okay. After I saw that, I wanted to check, okay, which pads are important and which pads are not important. So you see we have a lot of crown pads here and here and here, which are missing. But we had four important pads. PMU to system code reset low, AP to CAM PMU reset low, B uh, baseband to many G's M burst in and hall case to AOP north low. These are the pads which are really important for the phone. And I already got some solder on it. I jumped it, I did UV on it, and I scraped. And then I realized the PC isn't recording. And I said, okay, fuck off. I take the jumpers off and I do the video again. And yeah, we start right here. It's really, really bad because the video was really nice until now. Because we we separated the board, I separated the board, and I, uh, I I just talked a lot of important things on on doing that, and now it's just okay. Let's do some jumpers and okay. But I hope you like the video anyway. So here we have missing pads. These four pads are pretty important for the phone, for the function of the phone. So we need to jump on them. So what I do in this case is just taking the solder iron and taking a tiny piece a tiny piece of solar paste and I get the solar paste down to them pads okay see here are some some rests of UV because I already I, I did it already completely and now I do that I do that work again only for you only to show that to you in the video have a look for somebody who is crazy like that and does, does things like that. Normally, other people have said, okay, fuck off. And we do, it. next time we do a video. But I want to give you one video a week and 
I really try to get that. So we need to add some flux here and then we need to have a fresh plate. I renewed it while I was doing the video for you and we need jumper wire. Okay. So and if we have that or if we have these important things, jumper wire, solder iron, solder paste and a little bit of flux we can just you see my tweezers are really fucked up I told you that before in the video but you can't see that now so I'm waiting for my new tweezers which Union Repair has already mailed to me and they will arrive within the next days. They are already in Germany, okay? Perhaps I can try this tweezers because the others just don't work anymore at all. Tweezers are really fucked. Yeah, before in the video it was much better. It looked much better as I was setting the jumpers. Okay. Done. But I want to go to a second point here. Okay, clean. I don't know why it just doesn't want to to go down now. Or is it already okay? Yeah. We are safe here. Yeah, you can see that's pretty good. Or not. Here we have some dirt. Ah, I know why. It's because we had some UV here. From my work before, you see. That's UV. Here we have UV. I just take that out. I just take that out and clean it again. Unfortunately, the video didn't work because at the video before jumpers were done within seconds. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, and it was it it was feeling really nice. And now because of the the dirt and the UV which was already sticking on the pads, I have to do this again now. And I see go up with the temperature a little bit okay now we do it again oh people really if you if you do a job like this and all is really smooth and you are pretty happy to happy for having a good video and then you remember you realize the video isn't working yeah how would you feel okay that's pretty okay and the next one so I cut it in two ways one time here 
one time here, okay? So we take the next one. I just need to clean. It doesn't want to stick. Here it's great. But here it just doesn't want to stick. See, there is dirt. And if you have dirt here, pretty bad. You see, I don't like it at the moment. Because normally <laughs> I'm really working much faster. Done. Next one. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Okay, I just have to write back a message. And it's really important that the jumpers are not too big and too high. You know what I mean? Not too high. They need to be flat. So you need to cut them really good. What about, is this jumper okay? Yes. You see that? It's a lot of dirt on the bottom. So I want to renew it. The rest is pretty okay. And all these problems weren't before because it was all clean. You know what I mean? 
we hadn't any UV on the bottom. So it's all because of you! All because of the video I want to do with you. Come on, go down, little jumper. Yeah. Here we have it. Okay, so these are looking good, and now we just use some UV again. And some UV light. Okay. Just have to write a message. Now it looks like that. Now we just take a knife. Just like that. Now we just need to take a, wire, a, a knife. And you see? Right, free. Only, only like this. This is enough. Same here. This is okay. Here. Okay. Here, it's okay. Only for getting contact, okay? See that? And this is all. Oh, what you need to do. The other pads doesn't need a jumper, the other rip pads, because it's only ground and we have enough ground around. So that's not a problem. Good! Now we can do what I wanted to do 20 minutes before, before I restarted or I really started the video because now we have to clean the board. I know it isn't my best video because I needed a pretty long time for setting jumpers. But trust me, the, the board was really dirt now, dirty now because of the UV. And yeah, it was a bad thing now to, to, 
to take it apart again and to undo the jumpers but in some cases you need to do crazy things and if I want to have a video with you one time a week I think it's pretty okay to do things like that only only always remember I only do that for you for sure I'm really happy to get more followers and more clicks and more subscribers really but it's it's work for me okay and I have a lot of other repairs here which I need to finish and if I do jobs like that twice it's time which has just gone so I would be happy if you would really give me some some nice feedback feedback for the video if you like it give me a thumbs up give me some comments I'm always happy to see some communication under the videos and some people who give some love. There are always people which don't give love, but always remember your karma. Okay, we do a reball. A reboot for the iPhone XS board. After that, we get the board back together. Having a look that the board is straight again, and then we can we can put it back together. And always remember to use 183 paste. Somebody stole my tool. One second. So much. Clean room wipe. Getting some paste into the stencil. taking out the paste here that's pretty important as I did the video first I I saw that there is no clue sticker on the on the sim tray and I first thought that somebody already separated the board but as I took it out I saw it's just just bent Okay, so now let's rock. Let's rebuild that iPhone access board, baby.
here has some solder gun. Not a problem, I will do that later. Here we have one, one ball which has a gun. Okay, done. So we only have two boards here, but they are crowned. Or are they crowned? But not a problem. We just we just replace them two balls. After that, we are done. that be the right size for it yes and these ones here come on Last down. Boom. Okay. Some more plugs. And performing a quick and fast reflow. Done. Now it's time to clean. And after cleaning, it's time to get the board halves back together. As I started the video, I already told you that the bottom board is really bent. So, it's hard to see if some connections from the middle frame to the bottom are broken. But, I pretty hope that this is all okay. Because otherwise we had to swap the RF, the radio frequency board, to but I hope that this is all good. I don't want to take now a lot of readings 
for checking. So I think if the customer says he only got some, some audio problems, perhaps he hadn't realized some other problems. So I jumpered the lines, the pads, which are really important. You can see they all have contact here. Yeah, this is pretty good. Control the rest. This is only crown, crown, crown. Now the problem. No other red pads. No dirt. Clean it. Here is crown two. So I think we can now get the board back together. So we place it onto the preheater. Like that. Waiting a short time for heating up. I can take some hot air to speed up because I want to I want to get some flux on it. So it can melt faster here. So check the board for bent. Place it down. close look that it sits in the right way and it fits looks good now we put up the preheater to 190 degrees 183 like every one we have a 183 pace and then we go to the on hands camera hey come on my mouse is fucking me up Hello, please, please work. Okay. And now we just solder that board back together. Having a look that it goes down then. Go down here and here, baby. Yeah, looks good. Come down here too. And I think it will go flat now. Just in a minute. Or within some seconds. This looks pretty good. Okay, now the other side, control. That we really have a flat looking board. And this looks pretty good. Here is Andy coming. Good morning, Andy. Great, done. All good? My day started as fuck, really. 
started the, I thought I started the video and I separated the board and I saw some ripped pads and I already jumped at them and then I realized the video isn't working. Then I ripped the jumpers off again <laughs> and I did the video again. Okay, cool down the board. Get it to the dust absorber. Oh, then we go to then we go to the microscope and we check. Okay, you see the board is flat. What about the connections here? I need to put my microscope a little up. Okay. See here, all is well connected. Well connected. Well connected. Well connected here too. And this looks good too. Okay. We just have a look on power supply. Are we back in the game or not? So we have no short. If we press on power, I think it looks like a boot. So let's use a screen and check for a boot. So I connect the front flex because of the ambient light sensor. And I connect that and now I just try to start the board and boom we see an apple that's great and because I don't know if there are any private pictures on the phone I just take the screen like this and I have a look for the code hey on hands I think in that way perhaps the video ended up before okay um, the touch is working and there is no private picture in the background so I think here this is all good um, this works all just want to don't want to show you the so you can see that Wi-Fi is working but I don't have connected Wi-Fi antenna so it's hard to find a network so I want to to check all the functions now then I want to clean the board, I, I will clean the board, I will clean the board um, and um, I will renew the clue stickers, getting the board back into the housing and the customer will have a fully functional device. So I hope you liked the video anyway, instead I just missed the first one, so we redid the jumpers together. We rebuilt the board, we got it all together and the phone is working again. I hope you like it. I would be very, very happy if you would subscribe the channel, if you would give me a thumbs up, if you would uh, give me some comments on the videos. And I would be happy if you would buy the ICC Pro because that's really a thing which we have done with a lot of head and a lot of heart. And I would be happy to see you at our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. But please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. I'm out. I wish you a very, very nice weekend. Um, happy time with your family. And we see us next, next week, at the end of the next week, with the next video. I'm out. Peace. Here's Ben. Have a nice weekend.